Hello, Mac Team video. Today we're gonna take a look at a double ghost team in the Evolution Cup here. We have the Vigoroth in the lead, which is going to be pretty damn nice. And we have also two Pokemon in the back that are actually pretty funny. We have the um, Dust Drops in the back, which are pretty bulky, and also has access to return here. You don't really need one that is purified, but purified version might be a little bit better. As um, Dustclops then has the option to do way more damage against something, for example, like Vigoroth. It's definitely the hardest hitting move that Dustclops can learn, so it might be worth it. And then we have our Haunter here, which has access to Ice Punch now, which is going to be nice. And we have also Shadow Ball on it, which I'm not really sure if this is the ideal moveset, to be honest. Maybe Shadow Punch is better than the Shadow Ball. I just went for what I saw in PvP Poke, but at the end of the day, um, there were a lot of times where Shadow Ball was just a little bit too expensive to get. And I think there were like one or two games where Shadow Ball really helped me. And I'm not sure if I wouldn't also win this like when I have just Shadow um, Punch. Shadow Punch is, I think, 5 energy cheaper than the other punch, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, Shadow Ball itself would be a better nuke. And I thought, yeah, okay, if we, have, if we use it as a closer anyway... We should just use it there to nuke the opponents later on while this dust drops is just way too bulky. So we're going to be able to survive it. We will be able to go for one um, ice punch there and win the game. As we see the next opponent having another haunter in the lead. They swap out at the same time as us and we basically mirror the exact same lead which we just had. But on the other way around which is kind of hilarious to be honest. Um, they are mostly going for one body slam first turn, so I'm going to let this move go through. And the body slam still hurts so much against the Haunter, which is kind of ridiculous to be honest, like how? But it's fine, we can go for one Ice Punch, they still survive and we have to shield it now because it's going to be a Bulldoze. And we will be able to at least realign my Pokemon, they go into their Haunter, I get my shield back here. But they're going to get more energy and it's a little bit tricky for this team to beat other Haunters. Um, before I actually thought of using the CDO and Py or Pyloswine in the lead, and I think it might be still better. But CDO Pyloswine just give you some more coverage against some of those Pokemon that you face here. As we see a Magneton coming in, which is kind of awkward for you because this thing will be able to knock you out here as we cannot really do anything there. We try to farm down, didn't work out. They go for a charge move here. And we go into our Vigoroth now, farming this thing down. And it looks a little bit tough here. We're going to go for the swap out, which didn't work out either. And we will see that two ice punches are barely not enough to KO us. So we can go ahead and go for one body slam here, which they shield up. And as you saw already, the body slam that hit us prior, this will knock out the opponent. We will be able to win the game here, which is very nice. We see the next opponent, Vigoroth against the Vigoroth. We're going to most likely just try to catch the move, but it's like, um, here's like it's some kind of issue with this team or in general, this cup. I play a lot of Pokemon where I have literally no idea how they function towards like other Pokemon. So what my issue is in this cup is, I just usually are very slow on swapping out or like very slow on making decisions. And here my opponent baits me correctly, which is kind of sad. But um, this kind of hurts a little bit. For example, here where my opponent just going to be able to now have a shield advantage, swap in their Haunter and have a great time here. But um, yeah, it's, it's just something that depends on how you trained before because for me, like playing this team now is something that I have literally no idea what I'm basically doing there. So if I played a little bit more, I think I would have been a little bit better in swapping in some stuff. For example, I think against Gold, but I would swap into my Haunter, but I'm not sure as well there, like because I don't really know all the matchups, but Haunter has of course more pressure with the fast move Shadow Claw. As we see the opponent here going for one Bulldoze, so we hopefully can farm them all the way down, but they swap into their own Haunter before and go for one Shadow punch which is actually enough to knock us out and that's why i think shadow punch might be a little bit better as well in the mirror matchup you will be able to win it way better and it's, it's just more important we'll see the opponent swapping to one go but now we can go for one body slam but again we might have wanted to swap out a little bit earlier here but they go straight for the poison thing here i think they went up like one more fast move or something so this allows us to just go into a haunter this will be a poison thing and we will be able to farm this thing down, getting a move basically, and 
getting the opportunity to nuke something with our shadow ball let's see what they want to get into they want to go get back into the pyro swine shadow ball comes through and shadow ball going to get the shield from them so again not, not really necessary to have the shadow ball here as we can go back into our vigoroth they go into their own vigoroth we can go for one charge move here and we can swap into our friend in the back which is going to be our dust globs which will be able to knock this thing out immediately with one return as they can go for every bulldoze they want to go for as we will take them all and we will be able to go for one return that's going to be a body slam which kind of means that they don't really want to shield i think here um return coming through immediately now and this will knock out the opponent as return is a very good move actually and we will see the pilot swine coming back in another return going to try to hit this pokemon as they try to farm me all the way down i'm going to swap out of course because i don't really want to get farmed down all the way and i have two shields here which means that there is no way that the opponent can win this game still two shields will be enough to shield all the avalanches and the pilot swine gonna go down here by the vigoroth with some Body slams. Very nice. Good game there. Next opponent. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see Vigoroth against Celio. Very good lead for us. Let's see what they're going to swap into. They swap into their goal, but now I swap out pretty much instantly. But also not really. We're still like two turns late. Maybe I should actually stay in. I have literally no idea how to play against Golbet Saisov, to be honest. I'm not sure. I don't know how other people play against it. They go for the Poison Fang here. Very good for me. I can shield once and they can realign. But it doesn't really matter too much, I think. I'm not sure. We can go for one Ice Punch here. I guess swapping into Haunter doesn't actually allow me to realign because they can just shield twice and they're fine. Also interesting to notice as they go for one Poison Fang here. Um, against CDO, I'm still fine with my Pokemon in the back, so I'm not too worried. I can overfarm a little bit and let's see what they're going to go into. Most likely some good answer against me. It's going to be their own Dust Clops. This is kind of horrible. And they go into their CDO now. I will be able to go for one return. Return going to do some nice damage. And we will see that we're going to be able to shield this move up here. Which is going to be the RR beam. Which would do a good amount of damage. And we will be able to go for a return afterwards. But this basically means that we have no chance of winning this game anymore. We actually go for the Ice Punch because... It is already pretty low, so we should be able to even knock him out like this. We can go for another Ice Punch against the Dust Clubs. I hope that they don't have the Shadow Punch here, but they are also purified, so most likely they're going to run return as well. And they do, so they go for the Ice Punch here. And I have to get to this Bulldoze. I'm going to overfarm way too much, that was kind of risky. And we can go for one Bulldoze now. We have to go for one more Body Slam as well. And I think there was a CMP tie on the return, which is amazing for us, as... This gets them very, very low and actually low enough to get KO'd by one Ice Punch, which we just get barely there. We win CMP against the opponent and we will be able to knock them out with one Ice Punch here. Good game there. What a close one as we see the next opponent coming in. Vigoroth against Vigoroth. Again, we go for five counters and swap out. Let's see if we can catch the move. Of course, we cannot catch the move, but it's fine. We can put them into a range where we can actually go ahead and go for one um, return and knock them out but they actually go for the bait which is interesting and we see a haunter coming in haunter will not really like those ice punches so they're going to shield this move up here fine for me i can shield up this move as well gonna get another shield afterwards anyway with this ice punch and we will be able to actually i would be able to knock them out i think if i just stay in here and shield but I don't really want to. I'm going to let this move go through. I can counter them down still with my Vigoroth. I'm going to try to catch maybe the move. I should have maybe tried to catch the move onto my Haunter. Let's see what, what I'm going to do now. They're going to let this move go through here. But they're going to also throw their charge move. I'm pretty sure they will get to another body slam though. Right? Oh no, they threw a body slam against me prior. But now they're going to go into the goal bit. And I kind of make a mistake there. I should have stayed in longer with my other Pokemon. With my Vigoroth. Because like this. They can just go ahead and go for... I don't even know if they need to go for a Shadow Ball here. They go for on Shadow Ball though. Yeah, like there was not a lot that I can do here. Maybe I had to try to catch a move on my um, Haunter and not swap out like this. Because like this, there's no way I can win this anymore. I can go ahead and go for two Body Slams. But um, yeah, the goal bit is just too bulky to tank those moves. And I will not be able to knock them out like this. And we will be able to go down there from the counter of my opponent as we see a next opponent having a Dusclops in the lead. Dusclops is a little bit tricky, but we can go ahead now to go into our own Dusclops here and we will see the CDO coming in, which definitely going to enjoy this return here. They're actually going to shield it up, which is very nice for me because now I get some extra energy as well later on with my... Um, 
It's called with my Vigoroth against it. I can just go for another return. I can just let the moves go through and I should be fine here. As this one does a ton of damage, they still have to throw against me and they're going to throw against me. Which is totally okay for me. Going to be a body slam. Fine for me. I can go for another ice punch. Gotta get this thing even lower. And we will see that we can go now into our Vigoroth and we should have a good time. But actually I should have maybe went into my... Haunter because I would be able to take those body slams away better and they're actually going to only get to one though. It's fine We will see the opponent coming into The dust clubs again, which is okay for me. They can go for one return if they want to I'm just gonna let this move go through and I'm going to go for my boulders and then swap out Hoping that I can farm them down with my haunter and hope that I can win the game with my haunter and the end game Just sweeping everything with it. Let's see if we can actually do this We can go ahead and farm this thing all the way down we see a pilot swine coming in Which means we're just gonna go for one shadow ball here The shadow ball comes through and the shadow ball going to knock out the opponent there Good game definitely worked out pretty well there I would say as we see the next opponent having a haunter in the lead again I hate this lead as we go into our dust clubs immediately we do some nice damage with the hex actually which is pretty decent I think we might be able to win this in the two sheet scenario but they're going to swap out anyway into their pilot spy and we go for one return here and we will be able to get a lot of damage on this thing going to be even a shadow version of it which is crazy we can let this move go through going to be an avalanche and we will go into our vigoroth and farm this thing all the way down as we get greeted again by the haunter we can just go up extra there and go for a body slam we don't have to shield anything here to be honest and we will see that they mostly want to shield something here though Let's see, Body Slam comes through, they're going to shield it, I can swap into my own Haunter and I can try to farm them down. As they're going to get to another move here, it's going to be a Shadow Punch and I will see the Vigoroth coming in. And I will be able to go for two Ice Punches before they can go for one Bulldoze, but it's going to be a really weird end game here. Because um, if they get some extra energy, they will be able to go for one Body Slam as well against my own um, Vigoroth. So, going to be a little bit tough one there, I think. They go for one bulldoze. I can go for one body slam. This, is this enough to KO the opponent? Let's see. It's going to be not enough and we cannot KO them in time. Which is kind of sad. So they're going to win this game here just by this one um, counter basically that we are missing. But it's fine. We see a Golbert in the lead. I'm going to swap out immediately into my dust clubs as we have access to the move Ice Punch. I go instantly for the move because I lost one turn while switching. And we will be able to go for another Ice Punch afterwards if I want to. i just going to shield it up. It's going to be a Shadow Ball and we will see them swapping into their CDO. Which allows us to go for one return here. This return will do some nice damage as we get the shield actually. Which is very good for us as this next charge move will not knock us out either. Which means we will get some nice farm for our Vigoroth after this return which is very good for us. And this return still going to do a ton of damage here and they're going to farm us down. We can go ahead, go into our Vigoroth now and farm them all the way down with um, our counter and we will see the Aurora Beam coming through which does still some decent damage to be honest as we see most likely the Golbat coming back in here as no actually it's going to be the Vigoroth as we go straight into our Haunter predicting it but we predicted the wrong thing. It's not too bad still like we still have a chance of winning this like it's, it's not like over already. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a body slam and it was a body slam but like I have to kind of kind of try to at least um, save my Haunter there, otherwise if they went straight for Bulldoze I would have been dead. Like this, they're going to go ahead and go for one Bulldoze. Now, they are kind of out of energy, so I'm going to farm up extra. We see the Golbat coming in, they're going to go for a charge more. I should have thrown already. It's going to be a Poison Fang, we have to farm up to two Body Slams, and we will farm up to two Body Slams, but is this next Body Slam enough to KO the opponent? This is the question here. It will be enough and we win the final game here so thanks for watching team is definitely a, a lot of fun to play double ghost line is definitely something that you're going to see a lot of times as well so yeah this team is a lot of fun thanks for watching see you next video have a great rest of your day bye